Hi, I'm Ahmad Faiz bin Muhammad Fauzi. I play a role as a chairman. My name is Nur Atiyah Amni bin Timur Manazri and I, I will play a role as a secretary and also will second the motion about gymnastic sport for Mara Excellence Sports Centre. Hi, I am Kairi Nisa bin Tika Marubahari. I play the role as committee member and I propose the equestrian sports for Mara Excellence Sports Centre. Hi, I'm Tamara. I play the role of committee member, so I will be proposing about swimming for the Mara Excellence Sports Centre. Okay, my name is Sabrina Binti Fazil. I play a role of committee members and I propose about gymnastics, gymnastics sports for Mara Excellence Sports Centre. Hi, my name is Sarah Ashkimati Kasri. I, will, uh, I play a role as a committee member. Uh, I will second the motions for the swimming sports for Mara Excellence Sports Centre. Hi, I am Fadil Ben Karol Azam. I play a role as a committee member. I will second the motion about equestrian sport for Mara Excellence Sports Centre. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to welcome you to our meeting, which I trust will prove profitable to us and the committee. Welcome to our Mara Sports Excellence Centre. Thank you for coming. First of all, I will tell about the objective of the meeting. We are here to discuss about the most preferred sport for our college. As we know, sports is very good for all of us in daily life. But we need to make sure that the sports are really give the benefit to us. We shall move to deal with item number two, which is apologize quite soon. Mr. Chairman? Yes, Ms. Katira. Apologize for absence we received from Mr. Ali bin Abu and Ms. Jamila bin Tibaka. Thank you, Ms. Katira. May I proceed to the next item, which is minutes of the last meeting? I now, I now call upon the secretary to read the minutes of the last meeting. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, I assume that all of you have read the minutes of the last meeting. Is there any correction to be made? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would like to make an amendment. Uh, page number 2, item number 4. Uh, the price listed for ceiling is 3,000 ringgit and it should be 30,000 ringgit. Uh, another one, page number 4, item number 9. Uh, the venue, uh, the venue there was Lewan Gimilang Elmu. Uh, it should be changed to uh, lecture hall two. That's all. Thank you, Miss Sarah. Can someone propose that the minutes be passed as a true record of the business? Mr. Chairman. Yes, Miss Sarah. I approve that the minutes be passed as a true of the business. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Thank you. Now, we shall move to item number 4, which is matters arising out of the minutes. How is the renovation of Dewan Kebilang Ilmu? Is this good or not? Still in progression, uh, about for 80%. Okay, good. I hope you are still here because we need to move to item number 5, which is special business. I admit that Mara Higher Education Division has decided to establish Mara Sports Excellence Center at all college professional Mara. So, what is the suitable spot for our college? Mm. Mr. Chairman? Yes, Ms. Kailunsa. I propose that Cafe Marina shall be Mara Excellence Sports Center for the Christian sport. Have someone want to second the, second the motion? Mr. Chairman, I second the motion. The reason why I propose equestrian in Cape Mara because first of all, it will help students to become active through equestrian sports. Um, students um, carry the equipment such as saddles, stirrup, belts of hay. So uh, indirectly, the weight bearing 
exercise for them and they can maintain the bone mass and at the same time um, we are while riding horse it will increase in terms of speed and also ride duration so at the same time it can increase the intensity of workout and burn calories so i will move to the number two uh, it can expose the student with a way to handle animal because every horse owner um, feel that their horse is a kindred with it have a kindred spirit because they have an intuit in terms of emotion, feeling. So I think the horse can be the best companion for the humans. And the last one is we will increase the number of athletes for equestrian sports in our country because we know this kind of sports is not re not very exposed to the students here. So why not we try? Um, now I want to proceed to the benefits of this sport. First of all, it can increase the body awareness of the students through the coordination and also the stability. Well, through the stability, um, students can work on the core muscle because it can stabilize their trunk through the abdominal, back, uh, back and pelvic muscle. And while through the coordination, they learn it through the move of the horse. And then they can be part of the mental exercise for the students because students will experience the quality, the quality time in the horse and at the same time they can get a meditative impact through the uh, riding and staying on the horse. In other, other words, okay, it can relate really to the mind because um, they will engage with horse because they also can learn the responsibility towards the animal and lastly it can um, make the student be a quick thinking people because they will learn to stay on the horse, to steer the horse. So, um, through some research, they found that this kind of thing can prevent from memory loss. So, I think this, this is good for the students in our college. And can I proceed to the equipment? Yes, you may. Mr. Chairman, may I interrupt for a moment? Yes, for sure. Miss Karniza, may I ask how will the student able to handle the horse? Will there be any instructor to teach them? Um, thank you, Miss Mayra. The answer for that question will be uh, you will get at the training explanation. So for now, I want to explain about the equipment first. Okay, the equipment for this part is first of all we are uh, really need horse because without horse we cannot we cannot proceed to the equestrian and we also need a saddle stirrup helmet gloves tall boot and also the breast collar which is it is very important for horse to make sure they will not be pressured and other equipment actually for the safety for the horse and also for our students so i think this is part of my explanation for the equestrian Mr. Chairman, yes, Mr. I would like to uh, add some information about uh, equestrian sport. Yes, we may. So for the, uh, for the training, it is the important thing to have effective communication between the host and the rider because it is among uh, the goals of proper training. Plus, to make the host and rider feel comfortable and have the strong empathy, the host need to train uh, since they are young. Uh, and the, few, uh, few, the first few times you get on your host, you must have someone to hold the horse heads uh, to make the horse uh, stand quietly. And once you get over your uh, horse, you must overcome over I mean overcome your fear. But uh, to do all this thing, I mean to do all this training, uh, a safe spot in arena. But to do all this training, uh, a safe spot in arena or riding ring where you can concentrate. Ms. Mayra, yes. am I answering your question? Yes, Mr. Padel. Thank you. So, uh, I will proceed for the logistic. So, uh, the host uh, must have a proper logistic because of the size and also the breed. So, to make that happen, it's going to need a trailer to feed the host. But when we want to bring the host to other country, we will need to use the apron because it will make the host feel calm and more comfortable than use the sheep because when we use the sheep uh, it is uh, so much have the weight 
in the sea. Mr. Yes, Miss Amina. May I interrupt? Yes, you may. Mr. Fadil, yes. what type of horse breed for this sport? So, for this sport, uh, which is we will use the self franchise and Olden Buck, and the last is also Anglo for, uh, from Agra. So, all of those we will use for this equestrian sport. So, uh, I will uh, proceed for the course. Which is uh, for the host, it will cost about 75,000. And for the saddle, uh, it's priced uh, almost 3,500 ringgit. And the stirrup, uh, it priced uh, 750 ringgit. And helmet for the rider, uh, it costs 100 ringgit. And glove, 40 ringgit. And the tall boots, uh, price 500 ringgit and the last is a uh, brace collar for the horse is uh, cost uh, 1000 ringgit so the total so the total uh, overall is uh, about uh, 95000 ringgit so sorry it is must be a lot of course so how about the post student so uh, actually for the I mean the poor background student, we will teach them how to clean the horse, how to feed uh, the horse, and so on. Thank you. Are you done, Mr. Padil? Yes, I'm done, uh, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. So, let's vote for this proposal. If you agree, just raise your hand. Okay, you can drop your hand. So, I can see there are a few of you are raising your yeah, hand. Mr. Yes. Mr. Thank you. With not, not wasting more time, we will continue to the second proposal. Mr. Chairman, yes. I propose that we choose swimming as the sport of choice in Cape Marna for Mara Excellence Sport Centre. Is there any Second year for, the, for this motion? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I yes. like the motion. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, the reason why I choose swimming as a sport of choice in KMA Marna for Mara as a sport center is because it will bring up the student hidden skills towards swimming. And by that, we will be able to make them into becoming a national swimming athlete for our beloved country. Swimming will also improve the student level of commitment during their study in KMA Marana. Because students can release of endorphin, which improve the student mood and also the, their confidence level. This will make the student more likely to excel in academics. Uh, Mr. Chairman, yes. uh, I would like to interrupt. Yes, you may. Okay, uh, why I think swimming is the best spot for uh, Mara Sports Assistant Scientists is because it has a lot of benefits. Like, uh, it can help to maintain our healthy weight. Uh, our hearts and also lungs. Other than that, uh, we promote an all our cup uh, because nearly all of our muscles are used when we swimming. Uh, then by swimming, we also can help uh, build endurance, also muscle strength and cardiovascular fitness. Other than that, uh, I think that swimming also can keep our heart rates up, uh, but it sometimes that because the impact starts off your body. Mayra. Yes, Miss Atila. As you know, KPM Brandon doesn't have a venue for a swimming pool. So can I know where you want to put the swimming pool? Um, Miss Atmira, the swimming pool will be located at the football court near the football field. Sorry, Miss Sumera. Yes. You just Mr. said that a uh, swimming pool will be built at the football court, which is near the football field. Mm -hmm. So where is the where will students will play futsal after this? Mr. Chairman, students can play futsal uh, at near the Farabi hostel because there is another futsal court there. Mm, Mr. Chairman, may I interrupt? Yes, you um, I want to ask Miss Sarah, how can you assure that students will go for training while at rainy days? Well, Miss Karnisa, 
you don't have to worry about that because the swimming pool will be fully covered uh, so that even during rainy days people still uh, can come for swimming class. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Ms. Mera. May I proceed with my proposal? Yes, of course. I have done some research about the cost that we need to have to establish the swimming pool inside Cape Inverna. So the cost will be about 90,000 ringgit. We will also call for a professional swimming instructor to teach the students so they will be able to learn swimming from basics A to Z. And by that, we will be paying the swimming instructor for 160 ringgit per month. So the swimming instructor will come to Cape Inverna four times in a month. Mr. Chairman? Yes, Ms. Sarah? Uh, I would like to add some information about swimming. Uh, well, uh, for the equipment for swimming, we have swimming caps, swimming Google, swimwear for women and men. Uh, it's uh, totally for Muslims, so it's full cover for the swimwear. Also, we have kickboard, pool boys, fins, and hand paddles. Uh, all of that equipment uh, just cost for 400 and 4 ringgit only. So I think that the price is more uh, affordable for students. Even if uh, they are come from the poor backgrounds, they still uh, can afford to pay for this uh, swimming club. Mr. Chairman, may I interrupt? Yes, Ms. Abina. Ms. Sarah, don't you think it may a lot of cost for deep for maintenance? Uh, well, Ms. Sabrina, you don't have to be worried because the swimming pool will be covered uh, with canvas. I get your point, Ms. Sarah. Shall we vote? So, if you agree, just raise your hand. Okay, thank you. You can drop your hand. Yes, thank you. Okay, now let's move to the last proposal. Mr. Chairman, I want to propose that we can establish gymnastics as the sport of choice in our KPM Barana for Mara Excellence Sports Center. Anyone second the motion? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I second yes. the motion. Okay, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Ms. Sabina. I want to explain more why we should establish gymnastics sport in our college. Uh, it is because our college are located strategically in a residential area. So that one of the reasons why we should choose this gymnastics sports as our Mara's Excellence Sports Center. It is because we can also attract um, people nearby to join us, even though they are not um, students in our KPM run. And moreover, they participate no need to worry because the fees around only 25 ringgit per month. So it's really affordable to all the participants. May I have a word? I think that is a good point. Mr. Chairman? Yes, may Mr. I interrupt? Yes, you may. Okay. So, Ms. Sabrina? Yes. Uh, how about the boy? Will they have to do the sport together with the girl? Mr. Fadin? We have two instructors, which is boy and girl, so we don't need to worry about that. Oh. Good question, Mr. Baden. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Ms. Atira. May I continue? Yes, you may. For this university, we can reduce cost of place for the class and training. Because we already have the hope to do all the activities and training there. Students of KP and Banan can extend the gymnastic class with an affordable fees. So the student will feel comfortable and easy to reach the place. Besides, the student who love gymnastics can encourage themselves to be a professional gymnastic. We also can make the class work twice a week so that we don't, do, we don't disturb the student's schedule. In this case, parents will not be worried about disturbing their time to rest and study. Uh, so now I will proceed to the equipment. So we need a mat, bolt, uneven bars, balance beam, floor and horizontal bar. The Total cost for this um, sport is uh, for about 5006 ringgit, but we reduced cost of the venue, so I think this is a way more cheaper than the other sports. Mr. Chairman? 
Yes, Mr. Bina. I want to add some uh, some point of this gymnastic of sports. Moreover, our colleagues can find special trainer to make a class for our students. In addition, we already know that we have many classes that we can use for the training. But we only if we but we not need to worry for the limit quota of the participant. I do think this sport is really suitable for male students. Um, Mr. Chairman, may I answer your question? Um, yes. I think yes, because gymnastics for girls and boys are different, which is they have their own modules, so I think it is suitable for those who want to join this sport. Thank you, Ms. Avila. Uh, Mr. Chairman? Yes, Ms. Avila. Uh, may I interrupt? Yes. Okay, Ms. Avila, uh, I would like to ask a question. Uh, what is the advantage of gymnastics uh, other than two other sports? Okay, I think that gymnastics is more cheaper and doesn't need uh, maintenance than the other sport. So the student will not spend their money too much on this part. Thank you for the point. So we're gonna vote for this proposal. Just put your hands in the air. Wow. I see a lot of you. Please raise your hand. So, now we are done to the item number five, which is special business. We are moving to the item number six, which is any other business. Is there any other business to be discussed, Mr. Chairman? Yes. So, uh, I would like to add about uh, any other business uh, which is about fundraising Fund for students. Fundraising for Not students. Not funding, okay. Uh, we will discuss in the next meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. We will have the next Yes. Uh, the next meeting will be held on 12th no November 2019 at Dewan Gemilang Enmu online. AM. I hope you are able to go our next meeting. So thank you for coming. I now declare that the meeting is closed. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Please be appointed. <laughs>